going RSR cards and collectibles back with another video you got Bubba and Rob here uh, first off I want to show off this great cool new break mat Bubba bought for us uh, with our logo designed by DMC Sports thank you again DMC and thanks to Bubba got this cool break mat it's actually a gaming it's, it's like a play card mat yeah play card playing cards mat so uh, awesome stuff he said it was about 30 bucks ish uh, to get um, if you have uh, questions on that you can leave a comment and ask Bubba and he'd uh, you know get you in the right direction if you're looking at getting one it's, it's pretty it's a good I think starter mat for us at least you know yeah absolutely so we can get something more heavy duty down the road but yep it's good it's starter. Cool. so with that uh, we're gonna end this video I'm just kidding <laughs> so what we're gonna do <laughs> is uh, we're giving away uh, two of these packs uh, in our 500 subscriber giveaway. I believe it's the fourth uh -huh. place. Yep. Yeah, two of these 1990 uh, Tops football packs, and uh, we thought we'd open three of them just to show you what kind of stuff's in there. Um, uh, I did some uh, homework and looked up 1990 Tops football, and you know, there's uh, cards that you know most of them are worth about a buck, 79 cents, and there's a few that are. You know, worth four, five, six bucks. Um, I think the most highest priced card was a Montana for around almost seven. So we're looking for uh, Jerry Rice, Joe Montana, uh, Elway is a good card. Marino's card was only listed at one dollar forty five cents. I was surprised about that one. Didn't you say LT's in there too? Uh, oh, LT, yeah, and his card is about six dollars. And I believe Emmett Smith, Smith was a rookie in '90, <laughs> but I don't think he's in this set. So let's take a look and see what they look like. Get out the old trusty knife, and let's just see what we got. Actually, I should keep one of these for Kate to put up on the wall, huh? Yeah, I wonder what the best way to keep them is. Yeah, move it like that. Yeah, that works. Just do it slyly. That'll work. Uh, we did have our 31 channel card crew giveaway uh, yesterday. Danny's, uh, Danny and Gray's Toys, host of the live feed. Uh, he did a good job, so good job, Danny. And I, sorry, I'm totally forgetting what the name of the person that won, but it was verified, the first person that was drawn. Uh, so he is going to receive a gift, uh, right around $20 per channel, uh, from the card crew. So congratulations to him. Sorry, I forgot your name. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I believe you're a Braves fan, so we'll see if we can get some Braves cards together for you and get that out to you right away. Um, and uh, you know, in our description, we always list all uh, 31 channels, and actually, we have 32 channels now because Deafness 45 was added um, yesterday as the July um, entry. So we have 32 channels now. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what these things look like. So pretty cool let's see how we're looking on zoom in focus wise yeah hmm yeah this camera hold on let's see if we can get this thing to zoom in there it goes okay so we got Art Monk and every packet says there is a special thousand yard club glossy card inside and back then this is glossy <laughs> Pretty cool though. Um, so Art Monk, uh, I believe he's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, he's a good player. Yeah, and this this card actually, I believe, is in the three to four dollar range. Not We're that it matters. Down a little bit. Okay. I uh, got Don Warren, Redskins, Sammy Smith, Chris Dolman. All the All Pro ones do go for a little bit more than the normal seventy nine cents. There is one of our Broncos, Tyrone Braxton, twelfth round draft pick. Ended up being uh, great, great safety for, gosh, I want to say 10 or 12 years for us. Uh, Richard Johnson, Lions. There's San Diego Chargers, Nelson, when they were the San Diego Chargers. Xander, Chris Miller. I think Chris Miller ended up a, as a Bronco for... Really? Uh, right at the end of the his career. I, mean, I think we had him for one season, and then he got hurt and something like that, so... There we go. Uh, Scancy, Seattle, Ruben Davis. Joe Riggs was a pretty tough running back. Andrew Stewart. Oh, that one's worth... Uh, Super rookie. I think his was 6 or $7 cool. for Aikman, so that's a good card. Um, 
I think I sent uh, Colorado Cart Crew has one of these because we had another open box of these. So I think Dell, it's a De De Dale Bravaro. He kicked our butt in Super Bowl, what, 21, was it, when we lost to the Giants? Drummond, there's Willis, there's Ron Holmes, good defensive lineman for the Bronx. He was good. Tony Eason, one of those that uh, 83 draft picks. Um, the year Elway, Marino. The name uh, sounds familiar. Ken O'Brien, Tony Eason. Uh, there was... Uh, uh, gosh, Jim Kelly, and there was one more. They had six of them. That's like the best quarterback draft of all time, and I still believe it is. It's not Fouts, is it? No, 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 it oh. wasn't Fouts. Gilbert. He was way before. There was one more. There's an all-pro, Jerry Gray. Los Angeles Rams before they moved to St. Louis. Hogaboon. Alan Noga. He looks like a tough guy. Mm-hmm. Jeff Cope. Jeff Cope. He's good. He's a good one. Daniel was good. Raiders. Ah, there we go. Super rookie. That water. That water. He was our one of our favorite Broncos, along with Elway and Terrell Davis. But man, he could hit. That's a nice rookie card. Should be in the Hall of Fame. I think so, too. Stephon Page, he was a really good receiver. Nick Lowry, he was a great kicker. For the Chiefs many, many years. Lewis Oliver, great safety. Clarence Verdin. Oh, there it is. Reggie White. Cool. Yeah. Rest in peace, big guy. Mm -hmm. He was a great, great defensive end. Mm -hmm. That's a great card right there. Your old checklist. All right. You know, and I, I don't mean to punch fun at them because I used to fill these out mm -hmm. when I was younger. You know, check the box. And back then you could read that small <laughs> when you're younger. Seth Joyner, he was a good linebacker. Kevin Fagan, he was a really good lineman. Uh, defensive end. Eddie Murray, soccer-style kicker. He was pretty good. John Offerdahl. Of course, I'm saying everybody's good because I remember them right. back then. But Kevin Ross was a good uh, – I remember we played at them twice a year, and we still do. And he was a good defensive lineman – or defensive back. Murphy, don't remember him. Dino Hackett. Mickey Schuler. he was a pretty, uh, pretty solid tight end, if I remember right. Albert Bentley. James Dixon and Joe Wolf. So we only had a few Broncos in that one. Um, let's see. Let's get these open. Did that one, did that pack make it, do you think? Or Kate did Yeah, yeah, I think he can use it. Yeah. All right, so I can just rip this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, let's see here. So our yeah. thousand yard club, Tim McGee, the Bengals. Mervin Fernandez, Raiders, he's a good receiver. Caldwell, NC Glenn, safety. Dean Biasuko, Suki. Biasuki. Can get closer again, huh? There it goes. He was a kicker. Jeff Harris, Ron Johnson, and, uh, these packs that we have, when uh, I bought some, I don't know, it was at a state auction or something like that, and we got four boxes of these, and they were unopened, and total of 4,300 cards. So, um, yeah, we've been sitting on them for a while, deciding what we want to do with them. Ron Cherry, Wes Hopkins, aha, cool. There we go, Joe Montaigne. That's a good one. Tops All Pro, put him to the side. Perry Williams, Jeff Yeager. Jeff Jaeger, he was a good kicker. Mike Quick, he was very fast. And no, he really was. His name is <laughs> funny. Yeah. John Roper. Yeah, that's funny. Harry Hamilton, that was kind of, sound kind of stupid. Didn't it? Yeah, it's Tyler funny, Clinton, though. That's funny. Dennis Gentry. It was either a really bad joke or you were being serious. Yeah. yeah, he was fast. He really was like one of the more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the One of the fastest in the league. Anthony Tony, Eagles, Lockhart of the Cowboys, Perry Camp. Camp. I don't remember that name. And I always, I always remember these, the way these look, you know, with the mm -hmm. green at the top, just uh, it's cool. definitely brings back a lot of childhood memories. Dwayne Bickett, Gary Reasons, he was a good, good uh, linebacker. Robert Massey, cornerback, I remember the name. Sam Mills was a stud, played a lot of years. Warren, Warren Moon. Moon. Yeah, he was a stud, Warren Moon, Hall of Famer. 
in, cool. in uh, CFL Hall of Fame and the NFL Hall of Fame, professional Hall of Fame. Huh, doesn't matter. There's Dan there Marino. Did you pick it up? I had it for a second. The old hand in front usually mm -hmm. does. All right, Dan Marino, good card. Brett Fullwood, mm -hmm. Johnson, Jonathan Hayes. Sounds familiar. Andre Ryzen. Ryzen. I know that name. He's around a now lot with of the years. Falcons. Yeah, he did play for the Falcons. He said now with the Falcons on the card. <laughs> like in quotations at the top, oh, look at top that. right. I just didn't even notice. Now that. with the Falcons, <laughs> I don't know why. I did not notice that. <laughs> That's funny. That is crazy. <laughs> Interesting. It's kind of funny, huh? Thought, huh? <laughs> we messed up. Let's put it up in the right. Now with the Testa Verde. Testa Verde. We know that name. Broncos beat Browns two years in a row in the AFC mm -hmm. Championship. Um, Treadwell. That is David Treadwell. Sometimes I think the Browns would have played better in the Super Bowl than we did. Hmm. We lost both of them, of course. Mm -hmm. Jack Slater, he's a legend. Del Pino. Studwell. Anthony Miller, he ended up playing here at the end of his career. Huh. He's a good receiver. Delgenberg was a solid center. There's Mark one Jackson. One of the three amigos. Mm -hmm. And Jarvis Williams. All right, open one more, and then we'll end this video. But yes, we are giving two of these packs away. Uh, kind of cool cards. Fourth prize. Yeah, you know. Um, for those that remember these, um, and I'm 51, so I do remember them. And, um, you know, it's just fun to try to look through these these uh, packs and see if you could see what cards were in there. You tried to, you know, you look in the back and you tried to guess, gosh, <laughs> is the right cards in there that I want? There's always a game, so it's kind of like the game you play now, where you try to pick the right fat pack from yeah. the hobby box, you know. You know, and I wasn't in the card collecting when they did not put in uh, the they call them blockers or the yeah. um, the cards, you know, the fat cards that keep you from guessing which one the relics in. Mm -hmm. So I didn't do that, but I heard it was quite a thing where they would get cherry picked and all the thin ones would be left. All right. So definitely. All right, Neil Anderson. What's everything in the background, huh? Uh-uh. It wants all the background stuff for some reason. All right, here we go. So there's Neil Anderson, 1,000 Yard Club. Had this put somewhere. Uh, to Manoa Bernstein. He played here for a while. They took... They went uh, from H back tight end to I like how they running put back. H back on the card yeah. too. That's what uh, Shannon Sharp was in H back. Mm -hmm. There's Mississippi Mudwalk, Sammy Winder, and Kevin Butler, and Nathan United breaker. record breaker. What do you break? Most, Most consecutive, consecutive field goals. Hmm. Twenty four. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Um, there's Rich Carlos when he left Denver. He's the barefoot kicker. A lot of years with us. So is it. Uh, I'm one year of the Oilers. I did not know that. Huh. Yeah, cool. Well, Rich Carlos, Bruce Hill, Chet Brooks. Let's get another cool rookie card here somewhere. Looper. Uh, the the Mark, what do they call them? Mark, Bro Mark Brothers. Mark Duper and Mark Clayton. But Dan Marino through to Eric Williams. Peebles. JoJo. Far, Fawnhorst. Oh, we could be done. Just on that one. There we go. Uh, Melvin Bratton. Uh, he was a pretty good fullback. Just didn't really pan out. University of Miami. Had a few good years here, but nothing great. Okin Tunch. That's a different <laughs> name. Jason Phillips. Neil Smith. All right. Cool. He ended his career here with two Super Bowls. Two Super Bowl wins, I should mm -hmm. say. Lars Tate. Charles Mann was a good one. Defensive end. Shane Conlon. Uh, there's Singletary. Cool. That's a really good one. Mm -hmm. Grossman. Carly. That was the name of, uh, in the movie, Matthew McConaughey's movie when he's an attorney for uh, Samuel L. Jackson. When he, sh when he shoots the... Uh, 
the two boys that rape his daughter. A Time to Kill, that's what it's called, that movie. Hmm. Anyway, Carly was his name in that movie. There's Bob Golick. He was a really good lineman. Oh, there's Mark Salon. That's nice. a good one. That's a good one. Walker. Now, another Charles Haley. Come on. We're almost done with looking at these here. There we go. Charles Haley, Eric Ball, Pierce Holt. Is there any rookie in this one? I haven't seen any. John Forcade, Jeff Lakeman. Hampton was a good player on the Bears. There we go. A rookie. Bubba McDowell. He was a good safety many years. Hey, <laughs> Mary Thomas. <laughs> Pete Metzelars. He's a good tight end. There's Bernie. Kosar. You know what? Bernie Kosar was the quarterback, not Vinny, in those championship games. Those Bucks, I was going to say. Yeah, it was Bernie. For, no, my bad. Tessa Verde did play for the Browns eventually. Woody I Wilson. got you. Eric Gallon, he's a good quarterback. Oh, there's look at another that. rookie. Dion. Dion, there's a couple. Uh, oh, wow. There's another rookie behind it, too. That's a good card. I think Deion that one's Sanders. worth like seven or eight bucks. Cool. Dave Meggett. Meggett. He was a good player. Giant. He was a real small guy. Mm, like a West Walker. Yep. Mandrich. He was. Uh, First, Look at that picture. First pick of the draft for the Packers, and he was on the front of Sports Illustrated, and he was called the Incredible Bulk <laughs> because he was huge. He, was huge. he and looked he, big. And he was on steroids. If you watch of course. ESPN, I think it's 30 for 30 about Tony Manor. It's quite interesting, but he actually uh, had, had taken steroids so much in college. He was Michigan State Spartan. And uh, he got to the pros, and he tried to not do steroids, and he wasn't as good. And then he ended up uh, kind of semi-retiring, then got back into the game, played for the Colts, and he actually played with Peyton Manning. Hmm. And he had a lot of good years with Manning. He was a really solid. He was a tackle in the beginning. They moved him to guard, and he mm -hmm. did a really good job. So, All right. Cool. So with that, we're going to let you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, seeing some old 1990s cards. Um, I think we're going to probably, when we get our auction together here, which is going to be real soon, we'll probably auction off a bunch of those hanger packs. Um, yeah, mine. you know, a couple bucks, three bucks, whatever they go for. Um, but there's some good cards in there, especially those that like, you know, football from the nineties, good rookies, uh -huh. Deion Sanders, you know, we, uh, we collect Deion Sanders cards and stuff. So, Hey, with that, uh, thanks for watching. Hit the, uh, like button, thumbs up and subscribe button. And do not forget, we have our 500 subscriber giveaway going on right now. Uh, so far, I think how many do we have? We just put it, uh, Alec put it up today at 8 o'clock, and I think we had about 20 or 30 people already uh, respond. Um, oh, more than that. Yeah, yeah but we're going to have a lot of people in it, which is mm -hmm. what we want. Um, we really appreciate all of our subscribers to this point. We're at 485 now, mm -hmm. something like that, Sounds so right. we're only 15 away. So we'll have that giveaway soon. we got to hit 15 more, though. Um, so, yeah, do, do check out our 500 subscriber giveaway. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Take care of each other, and we will see you on the next one.